The second thing is the ohm wrecker. <laughs> the ohm wrecker comment. Oh my god, you guys will not believe how long this is. It is incredibly long, okay? So, hold on. This, this It starts right here. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All the way down to here. <laughs> he did a senior year, college year, college senior year paper in the comment sections. It's a full story. Dude, this could be a script for a movie right here. I will read parts of it. I'll read the beginning of this. I'll come down here and talk about a couple of the points he makes here, and then I'll cover some other stuff here and there. I'm not going to read this all. So if you guys would like to read it all, it's up to you. I glanced over it and I did one read through. That's the only thing I've done with it so far. I don't remember every single thing that's typed because there's a lot of stuff, but I will cover certain points and talk about talk about those points here real quick and reflect on them um, and see whether or not what he's saying is, is smart, dumb, stupid, right, wrong, and all this other stuff. It's been a while since I've seen a long Ohm Wrecker paragraph. He, you know, from the days of him messaging me, he, he sent me a lot of paragraphs before, but he's gotten better, you know, in DMs communicating with me. He's gotten better and not sending long paragraphs because he understands that that's just a lot, of read, lot to read and let's just cover one thing at a time and not throw everything out there. He's gotten better, but in the comment sections, he hasn't really gotten better. <laughs> so, but it does bring a lot of attention. There was, you know, a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, damn, that's long. I better read what it's about. <laughs> so, um, Overworker starts off by saying, I need to say this again. Delirious had three alts in May before the Keemstar interview that he was actively using to harass, stalk, and threaten me and DM others, including fans. The timing of this matters because it completely invalidates Liz's false claims in her video that Delirious was only reacting to people harassing him, given that he was making these false... Um, fake accounts, my bad, in May before the Keem interview, he had nothing to react to in terms of people talking about it on Twitter. No one uh, was before the Keem interview. So what he's talking about there is that Liz sat here and said that, oh, Delirious made these alt accounts, you know, you know, back in what, August, October, September, something like that. It was sometime around there or whatever. Um, I think she actually said September, October time, maybe, or August, September time. I'm not for sure. She said sometime around then. Um, and uh, I made a video, um, and this is what sparked up a lot of the drama and people starting to hate on me. I called her out and I said, hey, no, it was actually back in June and July he had these alt accounts, not then. And he wasn't just using those alt accounts for that he was doing this and this, this 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 and that with the alt accounts he was sending like images of home record to people so it wasn't even reacting to people who were talking bad about him it was also him trying to spread bad things about ohm and all this other stuff so <laughs> i see what ohm's trying to bring up here because that's exactly what i was trying to bring up and it's okay you know it's not you don't have to be on ohm's side to have the same point of view as he is because he probably sees it how a lot of you guys might be able to see it. Yeah, well, Liz did say it was around here, but it was actually two or three months before then, and time this time does matter because all this drama started at the end of May. And if he's claiming that he had alt accounts in May before the Keemstar interview, then that's even more fucked up, isn't it? Because the drama hasn't even came out at that point. All the drama started coming out at the end of May. I think it was like May 26th or May 25th, to be precise, I think. So... He, Ohm is right here that time, yes, does matter, um, but is it a big, big deal? No, it's it's not, but at the end of the day, if Liz comes out and says, okay, yes, he had them in June and July, and then gives some sort of explanation, or even if hopefully Delirious does instead of Liz, so, you know, Liz doesn't have to be involved in it, then that we would have a little bit more of an explanation on, like, why did you have alt accounts, what alt accounts were they if you did have some back in May, and if he was just upfront and honest about it, 
that would I think I, I think that would score a lot of points with people be like hey he's being honest he's coming on about that um, but he hasn't and he hasn't admitted anything and you know if it's not true he wouldn't admit to anything so we're just unsure if all those are true we do know about the ones that were that Liz and Delirious admitted to um, and uh, those track back to June and July not around the time frame that Liz uh, pointed out so I just wanted to bring that out um, and, and talk about that real quick um, moving on on uh liz he talks about liz was also citing people as part of this harassment um initially i also tried to sort out in my head if liz was lied to or if she was lying for delirious as i wasn't clear how she could have gotten the dates wrong on the accounts that were admitted to and yeah that's the thing too liz took a lot of time in her video to really do research, and there's a lot of research, there's a lot of receipts, there's a lot of screenshots, there's a lot of dates. She she focuses really hard on the dates of the um, Vixen um, person, the, the Twitter account uh, that she ended up putting out there, um, and one of the alleged victims. She put out that twitter account and all the dates and she was super accurate on the dates and she specified about the dates but then when it came to the alt accounts she was like you know he had these alt accounts and then in text it was like oh, it was around this time or whatever but if she did the research on those alt accounts she would have solved that and why'd she spend less time doing research on that and not that so again it, it's just confusing and it could have been avoided if liz just did it and she she could she could have done it she could have asked delirious directly i mean and it would have been just simple so it, it could have been a, a case of where she didn't even look and delirious told her a lie or it could be a case where she's lying for delirious regardless of what it is um regardless of what it is and stuff i do think it's important that if you're going to be you know, specific about everything and do research about everything, stick to that because if you don't, you might be criticized for it. Not by a lot of people, I don't think, and something small like, oh, it was two months beforehand is not that big of a deal, and I think we all understand that. Um, and even I pointed that out in my video that I made that everyone got flack for. I admitted that it was just a small little white lie. It's like a, a little white lie, you know, if you ever heard that saying, the little white lie. That's all I pointed it out. And I don't think it's that big to focus on, but Ohm's making a big point here about it, and I think he's, we're three, three paragraphs in, and he's still talking about the whole date thing, I think that's a little excessive, um, but it is what it is, because if you look here, these three paragraphs are just talking about the dates, you know what I mean, um, so yeah. Um, despite Liz throwing out lies and low blow attacks as someone that simply doesn't know me at all, I have never attacked Liz to date like she has me, even though I'd easy, uh, it'd be easy to. So he talks more about that right there. I pointed out this in my last comment and I'll do it again. Amy sent Liz Katz a DM when Liz first stated to die. Um, first started to dox her and left the door wide open for Liz to respond and ask Amy any questions she wanted. So again, this is more talking about the situation that Amy was the girl, the alleged victim and everything. And um, Amy tried to reach out to Liz and Liz refused to reach out to her. And Liz just was more keen on, I'm going to stick to this video and reveal her Twitter and, and her picture and her Instagram and all this other stuff. And that's what Liz decided to do. Is it wrong? Is it right? You guys tell me, I, I have a feeling I know what it is, um, but uh, yeah, I do think that if Liz was trying to be, you know, cordial about it, <laughs> it would have been smarter just to reach back out and say, hey, what you're saying is a lie, why are you lying to people, you know, or anything like that, or if she is telling the truth, speak to her about it real quick, and maybe you don't know something, Liz, I don't know, um, but again, it's a tricky situation, because Liz and Delirious are dating and stuff like that, what is Liz supposed to do, Liz is obviously going to defend Delirious, right, but when he's wrong, are you still going to be there to defend him, and, and this is a big thing, a big debate, where I live currently, there are people who, no matter what, they'll always defend, you know, their significant other, regardless if they're wrong or right, um, regardless if the person gets physical with another person or not, they'll still defend that, you know, and it, it's kind of sad, um, you know, I would like to think that, you know, if my significant other would ever harm somebody or hurt someone and they were in the wrong for it, I would call them out for that, you know, maybe not publicly or anything, but I would talk privately about it and hopefully it can be fixed, and I expect the same back, you know what I mean? 
So I, I would hope that Liz and Delirious are doing that, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're just sick of the drama. They don't want to focus too much time on making Delirious' name more bad because, you know, Delirious has his YouTube channel and wants to be successful and all, and that kind of makes sense. So moving on, um, right here, as I said um, the last big post on TJV's video, if Delirious wants to prove he's not Ray Harper, which he is slash was, I know this, it was confirmed to me, in the email that I spoke about, um, or if he wants to prove this new revised timeline that he only made alt accounts in June versus the lie of August, which that was the lie that the, it only started in August, but it tracks all the way back to June, I, like 100% with proof it tracks back to June. We all know this. On top of another lie given that he had alts um, he was harassing me on in May, those have not been 100% confirmed. We don't really see proof and there's not an admission from the other side, so we're going to have to wait for that. Then none of these things should be a problem, right? One, Delirious um, and I mutually authorized Twitter to share their findings um, of any investigations on alternate accounts for the both of us. If he has nothing to hide and he's claiming he wasn't right Harper Survey Junkie now or using alt accounts um, before the Keem interview, this shouldn't be a problem. And then he brings up some other points right here. We're going to skip over them. If you'd like to read them, they're on my last live stream, or you can pause the video at any point and read them. Um, right here, he the next one, again, I know this is hard for fans out there. People don't understand how hard it's been for me, too. I'm not talking about the nonstop hate and harassment I've gotten. I'm talking about how hard it is to, again, learn that a friend was doing these kinds of things. It's been a gut punch every single time. Delirious was a real friend of mine, someone I had, um, I had built a friendship with from 2014 on. I didn't want to believe any of, of this either, but ini the initial source from March 2021, um, who still hasn't come forward, revealed such terrible things. Um, so again, he talks a lot more about it here. Holy crap. More and more and more. More and more and more. <laughs> this is a lot. And then right here, he finishes up saying, I write these long posts so I don't have to go back and forth with anyone, but also so people at some point can um, process it in chunks. It hardly covers every aspect of this incredible complex situation, mostly because of all of all the fake um, personas Delirious has used in all of this. It doesn't help that Liz tries to paint him as an idiot, which she kind of did in her video. She said, you know, he ain't tech savvy or anything like that and ma makes him seem more innocent. So, yeah. Um, while at the same time admitting he had all these alts, um, anyone should have been able to see through what she was doing. Even the claims that he hardly used uh, Twitter, there were so many small lies intermixed with the big ones that people should have caught on way before anyone else pointed anything out. Anyways, that's all. So that's a lot. <laughs> But I do want to point out that he did say he wanted to make that long post first and everything because so people can process it in chunks and he doesn't have to go back and forth with people. And it's sort of like a one and done type thing. But he could have made that a lot shorter. I mean, a lot of stuff we might have already known. But he, again, maybe he put um, by him putting more, um, it would help anybody else. Um, any, anybody else who doesn't know more information about it and all so i wanted to be able to point that out that omaker i think really needs to just you know if he wants to speak more on it sure but i like i said before it's best if you say less because the more you say the less like you can't take anything away once you say it um, but if you say very little, you can always add more to it. Um, and I think that by him adding less, it would just avoid anybody come by and just like, oh, that's another long home record paragraph and move on from it. Or like me, where I'm not going to really take the time to read all of that. And most of the stuff under there, um, I, you know, I might be able to cover at a later date, um, or I'll be able to read and be like, okay, well, this is for other people to read and not really for me to cover over too much. I do think this entire thing does say a lot about, um, not only the recent situation with Delirious and Liz Katz and Liz Katz making a video and then Amy making a video, it also speaks a lot upon 
the reaction people are having to all of this, um, including when commentary channels are talking about this, such as myself, where I did call out Liz Katz for that. Um, and I thought, okay, this is going to be a good video. It, it, it talks about something very minor, and even Delirious fans might appreciate it because I'm not calling out Liz for anything big, just that she screwed up the date. And she should, you know, keep a closer eye on that and everything. Um, and then the reaction wasn't Oh, and oh, yeah, she should be staying on top of that, but besides that, her video was pretty good, right? No, the reaction was, oh my god, TJV, you're drinking the, the Omeker Kool-Aid or whatever, and you're on Ohm's side, and you guys should be making videos together, and, and people unsubscribing, and people sending death threats to me, and a bunch of other stuff. It got really crazy and out of hand. Um, not the first time I've dealt with stuff like that before, but it did take, um, it did take a little too long, um, for people to start to be like, okay, yeah, this does need to calm down, because it was happening for a long period of time, and it's going to continue to happen.